dear children how are you all hope that all are well and good in our last class we learned the construction of perpendicular bisector today we learn how to construct a square and a circle using the ideas of perpendicular bisector let's start now draw a square of each side 4.75 cm means 4.75 cm length is not easy to take from the ruler we have to think of doubling the length of 4.75 doubling the length means either you can multiply 4.75 into 2 or two times you can add 4.75 4.75 into 2 Five twos are ten. That is up. Seven twos are fourteen. Fourteen plus one, fifteen. Four into two, eight. Eight plus one, nine. You got the length nine point five centimeter. That is easily we can take from the ruler. Now draw a line of length nine point five centimeter and draw perpendicular bisector. Keeping at one end point, take three fourth distance. Cut an arc at the upper side and also lower side. At another end point, cut an arc and join these two. Intersecting arcs. In drawing perpendicular bisector, we divide 9.5 centimeter into two equal arcs. So, what is this length up to here? We got 4.75. Okay, and this length also 4.75. Now we got this length 4.75. And what is this length? This is a side of a square. Now we have to construct a square of this length. So again, take compass and measure this length. So this much length is four point seven five centimeter. Now take this much length from your compass and keep it here. and cut an arc you got another side of a square and keep it here cut an arc okay now keep this meeting point and cut another arc and join these meeting points and complete the square this is the required square of length 4.75 cm okay next draw a circle of radius 3.75 cm as i said earlier it is not easy to take from a ruler so that we can add it 3.75 plus 3.75 okay Five plus five ten, fourteen plus one fifteen, one one plus three four four plus three seven. Seven point five is easy to take from our ruler. So draw a line of length seven point five centimeter. Did you draw a line of length seven point five centimeter? Okay. Now draw perpendicular bisector. I have already drawn perpendicular bisector, and this bisector divide this line into two equal arcs, three point seven five, three point seven five. Okay, now this length we can consider as the radius of a circle. Now taking this length, keep the needle here, 
This length is radius of the circle 3.75. Now we can draw a circle like this. Okay, you will get the figure like this. Also, another way to draw the circle, keep the needle of the compass at this point and taking this length as radius, you can draw a circle. Okay. So, dear children, practice these type of questions by putting different lengths which cannot be taken directly from the ruler and draw well accordingly. See you again. Thank you.